In this video, we shall see and learn umbilical vein catheterization. The indications include vascular access for medications, fluid administration, central venous pressure monitoring and exchange blood transfusion. Equipments A pair of sterile gloves, sterile umbilical catheter of 3.5 French for less than 1500 grammer and 5 French for more than 1500 grammer, syringes of 5 ml and 10 ml, Povidone iodine solution, spirit solution, gown, mask, exchange set containing the following items, bowls for swabs, cotton swabs, sterile drape with a central hole, BP handle, surgical blade, artery forceps, iris forceps, toothed forceps, cord tie, sterile gauze, 3O silk suture with needle, needle holder and a three-way stopcock. Estimate length of the catheter to be inserted. Wash hands thoroughly. Wear a surgical mask and cap. Wear sterile gown. Don sterile gloves. The circulatory nurse opens the exchange set, syringes and umbilical catheter in a sterile manner. Pour the antiseptic solutions in the bowls. Clean the mouth of the saline bottle using triple swab technique. Fill the syringe with saline with the help of circulatory nurse. Attach stop cock to hub of catheter and fill system with flush solution, turn stopcock off to catheter. Ask the circulatory nurse to hold the cord with sterile gauze or artery forceps. Clean the cord and the surrounding skin up to a radius of 5 cm with antiseptic solution using triple swab technique. Place the cord tie around the base of the cord Tighten to prevent bleeding. Cut the cord horizontally with scalpel about 1 to 1.5 cm from skin. Wear a fresh pair of gloves. Identify thin-walled, high-caliber vein close to the periphery of umbilical stump. Grasp cord stump with toothed forceps. Gently insert tips of iris forceps into lumen of vein and remove any clots. Introduce fluid-filled catheter attached to the stopcock and syringe 2-3 to cm into the vein. Apply gentle suction to syringe. If there is no easy blood return, catheter may have a clot at the tip. Withdraw the catheter. Remove the clot and reinsert. If free flow of blood is obtained, keep on inserting till desired length. If catheter meets any obstruction prior to measured distance, withdraw 2 cm, rotate the catheter and reinsert to get rid of obstruction. Ensure free flow of blood. Place purse string suture around the base of cord, avoiding skin or vessels. Remove the cord tie. Obtain X-ray for catheter position verification. Desired location is D9 to D10, just above the right hemidiaphragm. Caution: There may be more bleeding from the umbilical vein than the artery because it is not a contractile vessel. Local pressure is usually sufficient to stop oozing. 
do not cover the umbilical vein with adhesive as bleeding from the site may be masked special points of emphasis catheter tip should lie in ductus venosus or inferior vena cava once secured do not advance catheter into vein avoid infusion of hypertonic solution when catheter tip is not in inferior vena cava don't leave catheter open to atmosphere because of risk of air embolism avoid use of cvp monitoring catheter for concomitant infusion of parental nutrition due to the risk of sepsis thank you